Multisim is highly customizable and allows you to change almost anything about the environment you're working in. I'm going to show you how to use sheet properties in Multisim to modify aspects of the circuit file you are working on. From the toolbar, go to Options, Sheet Properties. Sheet properties only affect the current file you are working on. These preferences are saved with the circuit file so that if the circuit is opened on, say, a colleague's computer, he will see the same thing. You can modify what attributes of the components, connectors, net names, and bus entries will be shown on the circuit. So as you can see, I can check or uncheck each of these options. And in the preview box over here, you can see the names disappearing. You can also modify the color scheme. The default is a white background, but you also get to choose from a black background, and as you can see, the preview is shown in this box here. You could choose a white background with black components, or a black background with white components. You can even choose custom. If you choose custom, you get to choose your own color scheme. So for example, I could change my background color to blue. And that is shown in the preview box here. If I apply these changes, as you can see, the color scheme of my circuit reflects the color scheme I set in Custom Color Scheme. Going back to the sheet properties, we can take a look at the Workspace tab. Here, we can specify whether or not to show a grid on the page, or I can decide not to show the border around the page. Under Wiring, we can change the wire width or bus width. So that covers the basics of sheet properties. I didn't go through all the tabs, but it is a good idea to look through them for yourself and tailor your workspace to your taste. Being able to customize your multi-sim workspace can make designing a circuit faster and ultimately makes you more productive.